Welcome back to another episode of The Road Chose Me. My name's Dan Grek, and today it's time to get on top of my disorganization problem. I figured out just throwing everything in the back and hitting the road really doesn't work. This is a big learning experience for me. I've never had a pickup truck before. So on today's episode, it's time to sort out my surfboards and my surfing gear. So if you're interested to see how I'm gonna make these things quick and easy to use, look after them and keep them safe on the road, stick around, I'll get into all the details right now. So before I show you how I'm gonna attach the surfboards to the roof, I'll talk a little bit about why I'm even bringing them. And on my past trips, Alaska to Argentina, around Africa, I made a really conscious choice not to bring any toys with me. I didn't have surfboards, I didn't have mountain bikes, nothing like that. And there was a few reasons for that. One is that I knew they would always get destroyed by the weather, the sun, the dust, the mud. I knew anything I bought would just get beaten up and by the end of the trip, it would pretty much have to be thrown out. The other main reason I didn't bring anything is because I figured it would be too easy for it to be stolen. Again, if I have surfboards on the roof or a mountain bike on the back, it just seems likely that someone is eventually gonna steal it. And again, that just would not make me feel good and not something that I'm interested in. Obviously now I'm in Australia, things are a bit different. And part of the reason I came here is because it is a bit easier and a bit more relaxed in terms of those things. So those are the two main criteria I wanna address so that I can actually bring surfboards with me. I do have two surfboards. I'm not a very good surfer. This one's seven feet long and it's actually an epoxy board, which makes it much more durable. So hopefully it won't be killed during the trip. And then the other board that I have that I'm riding a lot right now, it's seven foot six and it's a fiberglass board, a twin fin. It's kind of a mini mao, I guess, like a long board, but a bit shorter. It's fiberglass, so it probably will get a bit beat up on the trip. But obviously I wanna work hard to try and look after it as much as I can and make sure that it will last. So I do transport them around in bags, that's the first thing. But the second thing of course is when they're on the roof, I wanna make sure that they're not going to get damaged. And so the first thing that I have here is from Rhino Rack and they call this their wrap pad. And this is essentially a big foam pad that I'm gonna to attach to the Pioneer platform, one at the front and one at the back, and then the surfboards run the length of it. And that just means the surfboards are sitting on the nice cushioned foam instead of sitting directly on the rack. And so I think that'll go a long way to making sure that my boards don't get too beat up. And so I'll stick those on now, obviously pretty quick and easy install, and I'll show you what that looks like. And those Rhino wrap pads, they do actually come with cam straps, which I really like, and I think it's gonna go a long way to improving the usability of the boards. Because I'll be honest with you, I don't like bringing things with me that are difficult to use. If it's gonna take me 10 minutes to put them on the roof or get them off the roof, I'm gonna be much less inclined to actually use them. And I'm gonna say, I can't be bothered surfing. Again, that's part of the reason I've never brought them with me, because they're so inconvenient. And for the trip I did last week, I actually just tied them onto the roof with an old rope that dad gave me. And of course it rained and the rope swelled. And then it was really hard to untie those knots that I'd put in the rope. And of course I put them on here in nice weather with a step ladder, but I needed to get them off at the beach. It was raining, it was windy. I didn't have a step ladder. And so of course that was a pain in the neck. So I'm really hoping cam straps will make life a lot easier. And so to step it up even further, Rhino Rack make these locking cam straps. And these are designed for tying down kayaks or surfboards or stand-up paddle boards, whatever you wanna put on your roof and you wanna keep it safe. And they're gonna keep it safe in two different ways. First of all, the strap itself, it has a metal strip running right down the middle of it. And so that metal strip is gonna make it really hard to cut this strap and then take the surfboards. So that's the first way it keeps it safe. And so these cam straps are actually locking. So there's this cover over it that you have to open with a key before you can undo the strap to take it off, to take the surfboards off. So not only will the cam straps make it much more convenient to put the boards up and take the boards down, should only take 30 seconds, they're also keeping my surfboards safe so that hopefully they'll stay on the roof for the entire duration of the trip. 
So I'm really excited to use these and then hopefully actually enjoy surfing a lot more than having to deal with crappy ropes or knowing that my surfboards are getting beaten up. So there we have it, the surfboards are strapped down, they're not gonna get damaged, and fingers crossed, it's gonna be a lot harder for someone to steal them. I think they look great up there on the rack, and I'm really excited to actually bring toys with me this time, so that this is kind of more of a vacation than it is an epic expedition through the Congo. So I will go out and have mega adventures, but then during my rest days, I'm gonna go hit the beach and I'm gonna go surfing. So if this has been helpful, do hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I've just ordered a whole bunch of gear to go in the bed to help me organize it and get it all laid out how I want it. And one of the things I'm working on right now is somewhere to put my wetsuits and my surfing towels. Before, I just had them in a big round bucket, but that's down low. I'm thinking about hanging a cargo net from the roof of my canvas canopy. That way I'm taking advantage of three-dimensional stacking. So that's something I've got to work on, as well as some drawers. Hopefully the kitchen's coming, I'll get the fridge bolted in, and things will start getting a lot more organized so I can hit the road and get out and have adventures. So thanks again for watching, stay safe out there, and maybe I'll bump into you on the road.